This has been one of the darkest days in America. Um, it is almost 9 o'clock here on the East Coast, and let me tell you, folks are in that building early, and without a doubt, there are many people who were impacted. I can hear you. The rest of the world hears you. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of it. So let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over First attack plane, a hijacked American Airlines flight out of Boston, slams into the North Tower of New York's World Trade Center at approximately 8.42 a.m. Eastern Time. The explosions and fireballs broadcast live by television helicopters, which then horrifically spot the second attack plane. You see God, look, is he descending through the building also? He's descending really quick too, yeah. Well, that's 2,500 feet now. He just dropped 800 feet in like, a, like one, one sweep. That's, that's another situation. Another one just hit the building. Wow. A second airplane, a 727 just ran into the building. Uh, there was a pilot who flew, there was another one. We just saw, we just saw another one. We just saw another one apparently go, another plane just flew into the second tower. This raises, this has to be deliberate, folks. Then within an hour this morning, the Pentagon, and then the final crash just minutes later, about 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh, 266 people on the four airplanes alone, all presumed to be dead. The city of New York and the United States of America is much stronger than any group of barbaric terrorists. For hero.